Every day, our country must find a place to park 5 billion gallons of human waste, and we appear increasingly unable to find the space. Municipalities across the states constantly deal with sewage spills, and the nightmare is only getting worse as a never-ending stream of people descend upon our cities. More human beings means more human fecal matter. When Hurricane Sandy shut down six New York City sewage plants, millions of gallons of raw sewage spewed across the streets. Imagine New York City inundated in its own fecal matter. In a matter of hours, America's biggest metropolis would be a ghost town. This is the dark, deep secret of New York City. Nobody wants to talk about it. When you wake up in the morning and you turn on the faucet to brush your teeth, everybody's happy. Where it goes from there, nobody cares. I'm standing on a lot of shit, aren't I? You are. There's three million gallons of organic material in each of the eggs. And you're about to see, what, like, the shit of a million people seething into one gigantic methane fart. Here we go, Vinny. <laughs> New York City, home to 8 million people and 22 million more who visit and live close by. All of whom wake up, get out of bed, brush their teeth, and flush the toilet. Our assignment was to look into something nobody wants to talk about. We had to follow human fecal matter from the flush all the way through the sewage system to its final resting spot, wherever that might be. We used to dump our crap in our nation's oceans, rivers, lakes, and bays. But now that's against the law. So what happens to this massive volume of turds? This is a story about where that shit goes. Who takes the shit? What happens to this shit after that? And why in all likelihood you have unknowingly been eating byproducts of your own shit for years? Every day, 24 million pounds of human excrement flow through thousands of miles of pipes to 14 so-called wastewater treatment plants. To start our investigation, we visited the largest of New York City's sewage treatment plants, which happens to be within walking distance of Vice's Brooklyn offices. We're here at Newtown Creek, New York City's largest solid waste facility, because you think when you flush the toilet, it goes away. It does not. It comes here. We met up with the Deputy Commissioner of New York City's Department of Environmental Protection, Vincent Sapienza, and Plant Chief Eric Klee to show us the system. Newtown Creek is one of the newest and most advanced solid waste treatment plants in the world. Completed in 2012 at the cost of $4 billion, it has won awards for its beauty and architecture. There's a lot of hardware and technology around here, and we couldn't believe how many people have to deal with what we don't want to deal with. The main job at Newtown Creek is to separate the water from biological waste. But before that, these guys have to remove all the junk that comes through the sewers. And this is where the raw sewage first comes into oh, the look, plant. Oh, look, 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 there it is. Yeah. If you look all the way down, you can smell it. Oh, and look, you see right here, I can see some toilet paper. There is some, some used, used toilet paper over there that the rake has brought up. Uh, step back a little, you're gonna get wet. Ste you're gonna get splash. The rake pulls up everything you might expect, like aluminum cans, hospital red bag waste, oil spills, blood, vomit, and lots of baby wipes. They have also brought up quite a few vials of cocaine and countless millions of counterfeit money. One waste professional told us off camera that they found aborted fetuses and even live dogs. Like it looks like there's a big rock over here. Like grease. What's, grease. That's grease. That's like a big chunk of grease. It's it a lot bigger than that. Isn't it? Like you see huge chunks. Yeah. What's the biggest chunk of grease you ever saw? He's one of the ones you see. Like a, like a log. This is why you're always told not to dump cooking oil into your sink. It turns into this. See you later, bud. The rakes take out the big stuff, and this room removes the small stuff, like bottle tops and bubble gum wrappers. It does not smell good here. How much do you spend just in air filters? About hundred thousand dollars. Just for this plant, hundred grand for air filters. Yeah, yeah. You, you need some more in here. Eric and Vinny have been working in human residuals for a long time. All of this stuff, they say, the rake, the air filters, the computers, the pipes, and the tanks, are here for a reason to remove the poison from New York City sludge. So this is it. This is the treated sewage now leaving the plant. It's going out of this overflow structure down a, a pipe that runs down India Street and into the East River. So this goes straight to the East River. How long did this water take? 
to go from my flush back to the street. How many hours? I thought it was more like two hours, a high rate flow. It's a high rate flow. Okay. So two, two hours. hours. So in other words, I, 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 flush, flow. I flush, it hits this plant, and in two hours later, that water is yeah. back on the street. Now that Newtown Creek has removed the garbage and discarded the water, what we're left with is pure sludge, which now must be thoroughly vetted and examined, and that involves PhDs in poop chemistry. You know, it makes you think twice when you drink the water. Because it's a closed system, that's what you're starting to realize. That water, like, has been around a couple of times. Here you go, some of the samples. Oh, hello! What you got there? <laughs> Return sludge. Let's see. Oh my god, so you're walking around carrying little vials of shit. That's nice. Yes, I'm actually gonna go take a look at it now, see what's in it. What are these scientists doing? Why is it so important to study what we don't want to look at? Turns out the Environmental Protection Agency, always looking after us, needs to know about possible hazards in our eliminations. Federal regulations govern sludge, so more than 60 scientists work in this building. They inspect everything that's in the sludge, including traces of Prozac, caffeine, and Chanel No. 5. Keep in mind that mixed within the stew of Newtown Creek comes every effluent of cancer patients at hospitals, every sort of industrial poison, everything that goes down every single drain. So what we're looking for is what comes out of our bodies is, is kind of poisonous. It's so what we're looking to do is neutralize, yeah, neutralize it. it. So let me ask you a question. So what you're seeing here is that some of these come from Red Hook, yeah. so, and you can know specifically where they're coming from? Yeah, no, they're, they're all labeled basically. When we receive the sample, we compose it. So are some of these like some of these parts of Brooklyn worse than others? Like is Red Hook shit, let's say worse than Greenpoint shit? Like what's the worst? Yeah, it could be. Sometimes it depends on that's what we give them all these results. Which one is bad? Which one is good? Which one is which one is generally bad? Who, where's the worst stuff coming from? The worst stuff. Which it's one? Smelly. Which one smells the worst? <laughs> which one is smelling the worst? Somebody, somebody from is it the Red Hook guys? It's Park Slope. Every step, and with each inspection, our waste is transforming into something other than what it was. Everyone is now referring to it as biosolids. It was around this time that we really started to wonder where it was going. So, the water is now clean and in the East River. The scientists have their samples of concentrated biosolids. But we wanted to know, where do the tons and tons of human waste go? Here we are at the top of the, uh, top of the, the, top of the park. <laughs> Million dollar view. I'm standing on a lot of shit, aren't I? You are. There's three million gallons of organic material in each of the eggs. So this is a pressure relief valve that if too much pressure from gas builds up in the digesters, it can just open on its own and relieve itself. But I'm going to open it for you just so you can get a sense of what it sounds like and smells like. This is it, happens. man. You're about to see what, like the shit of a million people seething into one gigantic methane fart. Here we go, Vinny. <laughs> What do you think, Jackson? Oh, God. He got it. <laughs> we wanted to see what it takes to get rid of our fecals, and we found out they travel a lot farther than we thought.